Hey everyone, welcome back. So for this week's YouTube video, we are going to take a look at how to grant user permissions in Shopify. Now, why would you need to set this up? Well, let's say that you are going to be hiring a graphic designer or a web developer to help design your website or make edits to your existing website. Well, you want to give them access to this section in Shopify to make edits to your website, but maybe they don't need to also have access to your orders or your sales information or your other settings and channels. In that case, you would want to set them up in Shopify as a staff member with very specific access or permissions so that they can't go and poke around in places that they shouldn't be. Another example would be, let's say you're hiring someone to help you ship your orders, ship your packages. Well, you would of course want to grant them access to your orders and order history, but you probably don't need to give them access to make edits to your website or to take a look at your marketing or other analytics. So let's take a look at how we can set this access up and make sure your people have the right information, the right access to help you out with what you need. So let's get started. We are going to log on to Shopify. So when you're logged on to Shopify, you're going to come over to your menu options on the left hand side and you're going to scroll down and click on settings. Now within settings, you want to come down to users and permissions. Now, just a quick note, I am using one of my client Shopify websites, so I am going to block out anything that would be confidential information or anything to show you who they are. So in this example, we can see that I am listed as the store owner, and below that, we can see that I'm also listed as one of two staff members. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add staff. And now what you wanna do is fill out their contact information so you would enter their name and email. And then from there, you would want to scroll down and take a look at what you want to give them access to. So we can select all. And when we select all, it gives them access to everything within your store. So if you have a partner or a part business owner or someone on your team who needs access to everything, you would want to select everything and send them an invite. But in the case that you're hiring a web developer, a web designer, you would want to grant them access just to the online store. So you can give them access to themes, blog posts and pages, navigation and domains. And that should give them everything they need. Now, once again, let's think about if we're hiring someone to help us ship out our products, we would want to give them access to orders. And then from there, you would need to determine, well, do they need to have access to all of my orders? Or do they need to have access to also edit orders or draft orders? Do they need to have the ability to make changes to existing orders? Yes or no. So that's something you wanna think through. Another thing to consider would be if you're hiring someone to support, let's say, marketing, you can give them access to apps and channels. So if you come down here, we have a whole section for what apps and channels we want to give this user access to. So for my marketing person, they might need access to Facebook, Google, my email marketing, and that could be it. So once you've decided what access to grant to the user, you can scroll back to the top and you can actually click send invite. And what this does is it sends the user an email with a link to sign in. And depending on what you've given them access to, they'll be able to go to those sections within your Shopify account and view what they need to view and do what they need to do. So, that was a quick overview. The last thing I want to show you is, let's scroll down, point of sales access. So 
what this would mean is if you need to grant someone access to make sales in person, you can give them access to your app. So when we do this, we can click give point of sale access to the staff. And what happens is you get an alert. It says this staff member will be able to access the point of sale app with a pin, but won't be able to log into the app because they don't have 12 of the 13 required permissions. So if you click on show permissions, it shows you that in order to access the point of sales app, this user needs to have access to all of these sections. So what you can do is click give staff access. And then from there, you can see now that alert went away and we can set up a pin for them. So you can use the pin that's already been generated. You can enter your own pin or you can generate random pin. And from there, once you're ready, you can click send invite and once again it'll send them a link with all of the information they need to get logged in and you should be good to go i hope you guys enjoyed this content um, let me know if you have any specific questions and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and with that i'll see you guys next time